Yeah, let's just start from the beginning. If you okay. could introduce yourself, sure, and uh, just tell us where you are, as, where we are as well. Okay, I'm Donna Dennison. I make Little Creek dressing, and we're here in my um, production, new production facility on Curdy Place in Kelowna. <laughs> Let me tell you my story. Bring me out, town, won't you bring me out? Bring them all around so they see me work. Leaving good sounds, hear the good sound. I made this dressing for years in a jar. It's great on the salad. And when I first started the dressing, I did use canola. And that was in 95. And then when Monsanto started to creep in, I, I think that was for my awareness about 1998. And uh, I thought, oh, I, as much as I want to support my Canadian farmers, I just can't support Monsanto. So I found a source for sunflower oil, um, GMO, and it's so cute because I have photos of all the kids, you know, I print, here you've got all your labels, it's an expense to have labels and to change them. Yeah. <laughs> so here we are, and, and every, <laughs> I printed all these little tiny organic sunflowers in English and en Francais yeah. and we're cutting them out and gluing them on each each individual <laughs> yeah. label. So <laughs> that took a while. Right? Yeah it took a while. Looking at the sky, looking to the top. Praying he will take all my people up. I am what he made, I am what I am. Knowing that the when I was first making the dressing um, my whole intention is to create something with love, right? And love and light, that's the, that's the logo, and or the saying we all have. And so when the kitchen burnt down, we decided to write in the foundation walls of, of the kitchen, a little creek, wow. love and light. So that was built. You know, that, that, the power of intention is really strong for me. So on all the buckets and everything that we have here now, and at Little Creek and anywhere we go, there's the symbols for love and light. Our farm became certified organic at Little Creek Gardens in 1991. I think Gail was new at number 23. So, you know, ground level organic. Yeah. Our commitment is no matter what, organic. Like, yeah. but that's our life. You're yeah. not gonna... And it's not about the certification, it's I'm about the practices. And it's about the practices and that, like, why would you be certified organic? Well, for us, because it's for the planet and our way of thinking and our way of being. That's just who we are, we're not gonna change, we're not, we're committed and devoted yeah. to that. But it just became expensive, political, um, bureaucratic. <laughs> 20 years doing this, definitely with the ups and downs and, and you know, the very huge commitment Lots of hard work, but in all of that were all those pieces of so many people helping me. My kids coloring the labels, my dad filling the bottles, my mom shrinking, I mean, my neighbor Walter, 85, helping me. That, that all contributed to my success. The other thing that for me is huge about this product that I really, you know, I really honestly didn't think this would happen. I, I was a potter. The idea was, okay, once the farm can kind of support the family, we'll, I'll just have my studio. And, but as the dressing grew, and someone called it Art in a Bottle, I really appreciate that. Um, as the dressing grew, I realized, okay, this is, this is great. Like, my contribution is creating healthy eating, yeah. healthy living, healthy planet. So when people tell me like their child never ate salad or their husband doesn't want to eat anything green or whatever, but when they put Little Creek on it, then then they will eat. I'm really grateful that um, you took the time to... Uh, oh, it's uh, my pleasure. To it's always really a pleasure. Bring me up down. Bring them all around. Funny what a camera does. Yeah.